Quincy Crew wants to match up. That's a lot uh, they, they of different to, heroes he can't pick. They have to cover so many bases with the last pick. But Venomancer. <laughs> Venomancer. When in doubt, okay. get disgusting. Hmm. Well, Venomancer is not we really a mid LC. Okay. Ooh, experience. So, yeah. So he's gonna pull. I think this is um, the best decision in a in a terrible situation. And Monster's gonna go down here. I slow with the damage. Speed. Oh, you can't be talking about okay. all the knowledge. But no, you're <laughs> right. This, this hero is, is much more popular. I've actually been playing it myself in pubs recently. Um, it's really nice. The They've buffed this Arctic Burn, and it's sort of like you're a very effective tank killer. Right? You can take down those. So many offlaners are rushing Vanguard and Hood right now, but that percentage damage uh, works really well. I'll play me. Bail your war out with LOA rotating in and Quinn's showing up as well. So Fear goes for the TP out, but there's a Lucid Beacon oh, no. stop it. Fatal Bonds is kind of hurting your war here, but luckily Fear can't get in close to bring him down. So, oh, and Quinn. yep, that's the worst feeling in the world right there. Offlane reports in, you try him, and you realize there's no chance. Mid. Easy kill. That's a support. A five position Warlock and Viper happy to dive on in. Quinn's got his boot to travel up, level A Viper with. Bots, very Strinket, just Quinn. As Quinn does look to pressure this T1 mid tower with a siege creep, but it does look like Sad Boy's kind of positioned to defend this. Both supports not level six though. That's kind of the big worry here. Z Freak walks in, level three Lion, easy pick, and elsewhere Monster looks like he's getting solo killed by Lelis's Kimber. Dread post, yeah. right? And that's gonna hurt your street rep big time. Yeah, pretty sure you were in a zero kill game once, right? In ESL. Or are you not on that EG squad? No, I was, but I thought we got a kill. Maybe we didn't. Uh -huh. that it, was, it was the ESL finals. It, against IG, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won a game I, in the best of three, I think. Or I can't I, remember the score, but I know it was like a big meme or whatever. Yeah, I think I think it was a 0-21 or 0-17. For... It happens. It ha I, yeah. I think it was an RTZ <laughs> Tiny Wisp game, so I mean, those were always a real toss-up. Anyway. Crazy plays, but Quincy will happily keep looking for these plays. Yeah, he's got the boring job. Unfortunately, he got tri lane, so he's just got to play catch up while Timbersaw and Viper go out and dominate the map. Yep. Z Freak, still not level six. He probably could join in the fun, though, if he really wanted to. Because it, it is just slaughter out here. Yeah, we saw last series, like, you know, I feel like EG were in this position game one, and Arteez is like, ah, screw it, I'm not going to farm. He just leveled up a clip at, like, level eight or nine. There's a tier two tower dive going on up here. Yep. There could be. Oh, this, I mean, this it's could a Timbersaw, be... though. Oh, he's got me. To... I know, I know. I was. This game, I feel. Um, forget winning this game, and maybe you can start looking towards game two, but they're gonna start figuring out how to avoid the donut. Fear with his armlet is. Uh... Freak is Sea Freak is finding some space in the dire jungle actually at the moment. He might get level six. He's keeping top. They're trying to bait Fear. The turnaround's coming, but uh, Fear is gonna die before any backup comes. Z Freak unfortunately couldn't finish his jungling expedition as oh. well as is going diving now. A bit low miles. There's no mercy from Dire, guys. Yeah. Targets just are unkillable, like Leshrax and Timber Saws, even Death Prophet, or, you know, with that item. They just heal so much and they do so much damage. Yeah, that's definitely it right now. Lelis is just running and has Quinn to back him up as well. Poison slows, Chakram slows, just nukes on nukes and sad boys are getting picked apart. They do get a nice kill with the overwhelming odds on Ryoya to bring down MSS as he tries to escape now. A Lucent Beam will be finding him in a couple of seconds though is... <laughs> Not sure, tipping it. Here we go. Sad boys making a big five-man move. Five-man Dota, they're coming for Lelis here, but he's got backup. You are just gonna run in with an Eclipse here. Can they actually kill the Timber? I don't think they're getting him during the duel at least, but they will bring him down afterwards. That's a godlike streak being ended. Yep, fear he's got it too. King. He's got a yeah. desert to go with this armlet. He's actually starting to scale up. Oh, okay, oh, until the Witch's curse. curse comes in. Saves you are, kills the Venom. Now you are, it's been gone on again, but there is going to be a reincarnation zone here. I don't think he's going to find an easy way onto you are. Unfortunately, the body blocks from LOA are just too much to deal with. Because you get a, like a ton of bonus attack range with the Arctic Burn. Do some serious damage for sure. I like, I kind of like Solar Crest on him though. Maybe the, maybe the range is too far though. Put it to defiance and then your safe laner, you know, he just farms it up. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, wait, buys it now. There we go. They've got the solar crest, so. Sleep yeah, happily yeah. now. Ryo got TP out, gets cancelled by a Lucian Beam, so. Just a uh, mini BKB that he gets from the Presti attack, not long enough to allow him to TP out. Opportunity to kill this Luna. She does have a Satanic, though. That will make it tough. Well, it's just diving forward. They see the TP coming in from Monster. Oh, no. Then it Waltis, but he only caught the Timber. He didn't catch any other hero with it. Yeah, I think he kind of got exposed on a bad TP there. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Noir doesn't... He, just, he has an armlet, but he's not right-clicking. Right? He can't right-click. All he can do is press the attack on his teammates and run. <laughs> That's all it seems like everyone on Sad Boys can do. They're just being shepherded into their fountain here. He's gonna kill him. He's coming back soon, I think. Fear? That's another good one. Simply simply two base voice line there. I just fear no his throne is dying. He's just farming top. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Put Come some back. skeletons to split push. <laughs> Didn't bring the skeletons for the fight. He let them push in the top lane. Hey, they're on the job. He's playing He's playing to win, not just to defend this, this Rex, oh, yeah. all right? And uh, Quincy are uh, playing to get the GG or at least to, you know, go about their day as quickly as possible. They're kind of ignoring the fountain and just going for the base to some extent at least. 20. Yeah, oh. yeah they're dead. They're dead. 27. 30. 35. It's a timer on this one. I think you were closer. I think I had 26. You were on 23. Yeah, I know. I think it's. I honestly, I think SVG griefed my prediction of 23 minutes because he bought the Falcon Blade instead of the Solar Crest on that first Aegis yeah. push. Because of the, the mana void, and then it destroys the Necro in lane. The only problem is you have, once again, this TA hero minus armor hero. Oh, they go for the Drow. Hmm. The okay. Drow. Drow puck. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit fast paced for Sad Boys. Quincy Crew, though. Reputation of being a pub player because that's how he became known. Maybe he hasn't had the same competitive success, but if, even if he is that, why are you putting one mid Legion? That's not a hero he's winning pub games with. Oh, and there's our first, first blood. blood. I do think that it is a a very good Drow game. Matchups well versus all three of these cores. I, I think it's. A, it might actually get a, oh, yep. He's crushing yep. top right now. This level two Lil Shredder is just suddenly a big timing for them. Fear just needs. A couple more right clicks with the magic six charges and yeah, continues to just absolutely destroy. I mean, this has been the name of the game. Okay, maybe I've jinxed him. He's actually going to be in trouble. He's going to find a way out, and the Reaper Scythe is going to pick him off completely jinx. And that little shred of damage is insane, but that's a level six Necro. Yeah, that's his second death really in the same spot. I think he's playing just far too aggressive. Um, he needs to be closer to Fear, or Fear needs to be closer to him. Oh, Fear gets caught by the acorn shot. On a cold in the bushwhack. Yep. Nice rotation from oh. just really dead sound trying to get that level six, trying to soak up XP in this mid lane. And perhaps it's Ryo on the puck who wants to be active, but unfortunately, he's run into two cores on the enemy side who are going to catch him without the orb. And even with the coil being used, he still dies. Yeah, so coil down. Have this coil. Suddenly, they're able to do a good job forcing these fights and plays. Yeah, I feel like Drow's farm is kind of just. Stopped completely though, ever since that top tier one tower went down. Yeah. Oh. Back at mid, move. Or did gonna flash on the right. Drop the ultimate onto yeah, they don't know. that bottom lane. It's a dive at the tier two bottom tower. They want Lelis. He's gonna manage to juke his way out of there with the ghost guard. Just not enough damage coming in from Monster Fear. He dies deep, diving past the tier one tower. LOA will go down, but you are. Just shredding through people here oh, wow. with the AoE damage. Gets caught by a coil now. Ryoya with the tower hits. Gotta be careful. One or two more right clicks. Or perhaps a nuke will finish him off. He manages to just barely escape. Zephyr missing every single glob, it feels like there, unfortunately, uh, on the Mortimer. He didn't miss, he didn't miss every single Invade uh, Radiance Triangle for their Ancients area. Monster top. Have they got the damage for him? Channels up the sharpshooter. He lands it. And Quinn gets the kill. Blink. Hey, skipping the Desso for now. Shows up with a blink dagger. Well, blink forward. Yeah, he's feeling confident with the Sabaton behind him. He's pretty untouchable. He was very close to getting Ryoga there. Got him down to just one hit for the kill. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Z free. The Grok, though. Big okay, big box. Rock in the call. Yeah, they catch absolutely everybody on the Quincy side. As Quinn is just going to take out the golem that's on top of him now, LOA in the front lines with the Abaddon ultimate. Quinn he still getting the first down. Uh, the Mortimus kisses. He catches him with the last blob, but it's just not enough because the Abaddon 
the Hephotic Shield save him, and now they're going to get a Coil Kill on the puck. Great hero splitter as Leshrac jukes his way out of there. They've killed three. Much in the draft, though. Really, only that puck can, that can start fights. Would have been nice to have maybe a support that would be a little bit more proactive with this Timber Saw. That's why we see a lot of, like, oh. Well, we in trouble. Fight. Yeah, he missed time to split Earth. He's being healed up as well, shielded up, and that's going to bail him out here. Moo comes in with the rock. Is that going to be enough to kill the Lesh? The Spitfire coming out with the Mortimer's Kisses. Yeah, here, comes the Lesh. here comes Quinn. Yeah, Quinn ready to clean up. Gets fear on the back lines. Poor Drow does have a gust, pushes Quinn away, but one last Deso hit. That'll find him, and Z Freak going to get chased down, slowed down. Monster could be next. Does not quite have the mana for a TP, has it now. Is there anything to cancel it? Oh, Definitely showing respect for uh, Radiant's ultimates. You know, if they stand in and get five man coiled into Fatal Bonds, there is a small chance, I suppose, possibly. Oh, but that's a one man coil on Necrophos. <laughs> I like how Lelis runs up, doesn't run up the hill, he just goes up and plants an Ironwood tree. Oh, Split Earth catches Rio. Yeah, one or two more right clicks or nukes will bring him down. Mu drops the rock, but there's just no damage to follow it up. Mortimer's kisses net. from Snapfire, not really just doing enough by themselves. They just lack in the damage as fear gets chased down. And maybe things go from bad to worse. Maybe Radiant could have like re-smoked. Oh yeah. Try to find, I think what they went to try and do is like find the back lines, right? Find like, you know, coil the TA or the Hoodwink or the Lash, right? Necropost is like the worst target and they call it, they tap out. Yeah. That's it. It's game two and they see the writing on the wall. They saw how game one went where I think they gave up like 50 kills in a 26, 27 minute game.